Just look at this. I'm shaking, guys, because I'm so excited about Rax. It's Rax! <laughs> Holy crap, guys, I cannot believe what I'm staring at right now. First, let me say sorry to Richard and Kara because I know we had a plan to come out here after I won that diet bet, but this was totally unplanned. I woke up this morning and I thought, Halloween's not over yet. Where's the next Spirit Halloween? And it was in Lancaster, Ohio, five minutes from this Rax. I cannot believe I am standing in front of a legitimate, fully functional Rax restaurant holy crap guys look even the entrance and exit signs are exactly as i remember the solarium the racks sign the endless salad bar which probably doesn't exist in there anymore but look they even have two mushroom melt or two philly melts for six bucks holy crap i might get some of those to go but today i am seeking the bbc oh my god bbc's are so good look at this i could just stare at it for hours and at this moment i have to steal a word from adam the woo i am so sorry because this sign is nothing less than majestic seriously though i cannot believe i'm standing in front of a racks right now looking at a solarium. Holy crap, guys. I worked at Rax in Maslin, Ohio when I was 16 and 17 years old. Most awesome place I've ever worked. Most awesome food I've ever had. And we're going to go in and get some right now. Even the windows and the door, exactly as I remember. Here we go. Stepping into history. Holy crap, guys. Look at this. Even the line and the bathrooms. Everything is exactly how it was set up in Maslin. I'm shaking right now. I'm so excited. <laughs> Look at this, guys. The front line is exactly as I remember it, except for the menu board. The menu board is totally different, but the front line, even the shake machine, holy crap. This is bringing back some serious memories. All right, guys. I ordered, and while the food is getting ready, we're just going to take a quick look out here because there's nobody else in here. I want to film this before anybody else comes in. This is just so amazing to me. I mean, this is where the salad bar would have been, and I'm assuming that there was a salad bar in this one at some point, because that's just how they were set up. You know, that's what, what Rax was. Um, but, man, this just totally brings back the memories. And this solarium down here, I'm going to insert a couple of pictures that I actually have from when I was working at Rax. But this just absolutely blows my mind seeing this place. I swear my heart is just like fluttering standing in here. <laughs> Look at this, okay. I mean, anybody who's never been to a Rax, you, you just don't get it, you know? But especially if you worked at one, you totally understand what I'm talking about. The thank you there, I remember it like it was yesterday. Look at this, these trays, holy crap. Oh my gosh. And look at this over on the wall here. This is the coolest thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> okay, maybe not in my life, but look at that Rax clock. I want that bad enough to steal it. But I won't because I just said that and they would know. <laughs> oh my God, it's just so unbelievable to be in a Rax. Look at the carpet. I mean, you can tell this is the original carpet from in here too. And this tile work here, I mean, this is this is exactly how it was when I worked at the one in Maslin. Everything, like I said, you know, the, the bathrooms and everything. Even the plates, the name plates here. Exact same thing. All right, you know what? Let's look at the bathroom. Okay, I mean, there's nothing racks about the bathroom. <laughs> but unbelievable, man. And there it is. Look at this, guys. All we're waiting for is the curly fries. Look at this, guys. Just looking at the menu up here. I mean, the regular racks, deluxe, king racks, BBC mushroom melt. I don't remember having the beef and cheddar. Yeah, yeah, I guess I do. Philly melt. Everything is the same. There's a couple of extra things. Deluxe ham, junior rack. We got the baked potatoes still up here. And there's some sides. I really don't remember all the sides when I worked there, but I do remember, of course, the, uh, the potato skins, the twisty fries, regular fries. And we got milkshakes, oh my God. 
blast from the past. Okay, let me tell you a story quick about this microphone right here. Okay guys, when I was working at Rex, you'd stand up here and this is how you order. When somebody comes through, you order your food and they say it in that microphone so it goes over the front line and everybody hears it and everybody who's preparing the food can get it prepared. Well, they would put me on the front line sometimes, which was an absolute mistake because I was nothing but a huge goofball. And this one time that sticks in my mind, <laughs> I was standing there and an older couple came through and they ordered two salad bars and I said it exactly like this real loud into the microphone I go two salad bars and I started laughing so hard they ordered coffees next I couldn't even get it out I couldn't even say it the manager had to take over needless to say I was in trouble for that but it was absolutely hilarious okay guys here we go this is gonna be absolutely amazing holy crap Let's hold it like this, actually, so we make sure we don't drop the drink, because that is definitely something I would do trying to balance this and a camera. Okay, we got our napkins. We need a straw. Oh my gosh, look at this. I'm shaking, guys, because I'm so excited about racks. It's racks! Holy crap, these people must think I'm crazy. We are totally going down into the solarium. Watch me dump this food all over the place. Okay, over here. We're choosing this table right here because this location of this table is the last location I remember sitting at and I actually have it on video. Although, I don't know. When I put this video up, if I have found that footage, I'll stick it in here. But I remember sitting at a table in this exact same location in the uh, in the solarium with my friends and uh, and one of my friends was listening to Marky Mark and the Funky Bunch. <laughs> oh my god, this is just the coolest thing ever. And for anybody who hasn't been following and doesn't know why I have a black eye, my uh my granddaughter was crawling on me the other day and she had this lid to a pan and the lid was made of glass and had like a steel ring on it. She was climbing on top of me and picked that thing up, dropped it right on my eye. And that was bleeding right there. And look at it, the, the entire eye has turned black. <laughs> Absolutely crazy. Okay guys, before we eat, let's examine this. Look at that logo. My heart is pounding because of Rax. I love you Rax, holy crap. Why did you ever break up with me? <laughs> The only thing different about the cup is that now it has a web address on it. But look at this. Even the way they wrap these things and these uh, these wrappers, the same wrappers as back in the 90s. Unbelievable. Delicious, delicious curly fries and the cheese sauce. You have to have the cheese sauce on the side. Oh my God. That right there is a sight. Dear Lord. Thank you for this beautiful, 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 bountiful, delicious meal I'm about to devour from racks. Bless it to the needs of my body. And thank you for making my job description. Drive to racks and take your camera. In Jesus' name, amen. Oh yeah, this is going down right now, guys. I am going to taste test the BBC and tell you if it still tastes the same as back in the 90s. First we'll do a twisty fry. Oh, I'm so excited. Look at that deliciousness right there. Holy crap. And the only thing that makes it better is dipping it in there. I am not kidding, guys. That is exactly how it tasted back in the 90s. <laughs> Thank you, God, for this Lancaster Rex. All right, we gotta sink our teeth into this BBC here. I've got to taste this thing. Oh, look at that. Holy crap, if you've ever been to a Rex, you know how good that is gonna taste right now. Mmm. Beef, bacon, and BBC sauce. It's like a uh, like a smoky cheddar sauce. Mm.
I can't take it. I can't take it. Exactly how it tasted back in the 90s, guys. Unbelievable. Unbe freaking believable. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I'm telling you, that is unbelievable. When I got up this morning, I did not want to drive two hours to get out here and then two hours back home, but this right here made it well worth the entire trip. Oh my God. <laughs> hey, I told you I was gonna devour it. Oh my gosh, guys. That was unbelievable. What more can I say? Hashtag bring back cracks. Oh my gosh, guys, I'm so excited to have a headache. Okay guys, one more story quick before people come in here because there's a couple people getting food. The salad bar that used to sit right there. I used to work the salad bar all the time. Well, you know, all my friends and I did when we worked there. At the end of the night when we were closing, the salad bar became total cannon fodder, man. We had food fights for like half an hour every night when we closed. Pudding would be flying, tortilla shells, everything, it was chaos. Man, I can still even hear the music that they used to play overhead for hours on end. I mean, it was on like a loop, you know, it was one of those cassettes that they just play over and over and over and over. All right, one more look at that awesome clock up there before we go. It's not working. I don't know if it just needs batteries or what. And I'm so tempted to ask if I can just buy it, but I'm not going to because it is such a relic. It belongs right there on the wall, so I'm gonna leave it. Goodbye, my favorite restaurant in the entire whole wide world. I bid you adieu. All right, I have to do a complete walk around, a complete documentation of this racks. We've got the enter sign. We've got the exit sign. We've got the racks sign. <laughs> and I love, I absolutely love how it still says endless salad bar. They just painted over it. The solarium, the giant racks letters on the front there. That's just looking at this, that's just an unbelievable sight, guys. Can't even tell you. Look at that, that's the side view. We're gonna have to walk around the back here to the drive-thru. And in fact, there is the drive-thru sign right there. Holy crap. Seeing that is just so amazing to me. <laughs> I love it. There's the order board there. Of course, it looks a little bit different. You know, they change those over time, but most of the food is the same and we still got the logos on there. Same colors and everything. Here's the trash area over here. I don't think there's anything descriptive over here though. <laughs> I mean, it looks exactly the same from what I remember from my racks, but you know, not that big of a deal. There is the drive-through right there. I used to work the drive-through all the time and we had two headsets. Like the person who was taking the orders had a headset and then there was one other person who would also assist with the orders or if like you know one of us went to the bathroom or something car came through then that person would take the order for you but uh but we always talked back and forth and said the corniest stuff especially when one of us was trying to take an order and we were talking to customers we try to get each other laughing and this right here that you're looking at these are the coolers the coolers and the freezer man if the walls in the cooler could talk <laughs> One story I can tell you about the cooler is I remember being in there and we uh, we would take like the bags of fries and stuff like that and we would just beat them up and just act so stupid, act like we were beating a person up so that when somebody else walked in they would catch us doing that and we would be like, um, hi, you know, and just act stupid like we just got caught. Okay, so check this out. Look at that weathered rack sign up there above the drive through window. That is absolutely amazing to me, guys. I love it so much. Holy crap. And of course, here's the other side. I think this is a door over here too, yeah. Let me just show you the, uh, the sign here with the hours. 
Here you go. Those are the hours if you guys want to come down here. There's the address, 800 East Main Street in Lancaster, Ohio. Holy crap, Rax is yummy. And the poor sign on this one, the R has a little crack in it there. But we won't hold that against you, Mr. Rax. <laughs> and there's our exit sign, guys. Oh my gosh. Just cannot believe that I'm looking at a Rax right now. All right, guys, that is it for our Rax tour. Unbelievable. Made the entire trip out here so worth it. The food is still delicious. And the prices really aren't that bad either. Exactly how I remember it. I love you, Rax. Ha, 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 ha.